right? So when my brother got shot and killed, that's when I really had to do a deep dive and I really had to figure out what exactly is my purpose here on earth. And that's when I started the Advantage Program, which is a, a nonprofit. We mentor young men seven to 17. And my only goal in life is to show these young men and these young ladies in this world, I promise you, it's a big world, right? And sometimes we can't see it because like this, I want everybody to do me a favor. Put your hand right in front of your face when you're touching your nose. Do you see how hard it is to see to the size when something's blocking you? It's called perspective, right? But as you start moving your hand out, guess what starts happening? The things on the side and the peripherals start opening up. And a long time ago, I learned and I realized that believe it or not, growing up here in the United States, we're spoiled rock. Like my wife, she came from Jamaica. I promise you, the stuff over in Jamaica is not like it is here. Right, but we take advantage of this stuff here because we think we're supposed to have it or somebody's supposed to do this for us, and that's just not the reality. So after I start the, the, uh, the Advantage program, and, I, and we, we have like 60 young men, everything is going great, but again, my biggest thing is, how can I make sure that you guys don't go through what I went through? How can I make sure that the goals and the aspirations that you guys have, you guys can actually see come to fruition? Because there's nothing worse than a person who has goals, who has dreams for their lives, but they have nobody else to help them get there. Right, so it, I've learned everybody has what we call support, like a helper. Sometimes we don't even know who our support is, but these teachers and these administrators, I know sometimes they might annoy you, but believe it or not, they're actually here to help you. Like I, was, I remember when I was in sixth grade, and there was a kid in my class, and he used to always talk about how the teacher used to pick on him, and the teacher was always on him. And he went from my school district, he moved to another school district, and the teachers were still picking on him. Then he moved to another school district, and the teachers were still picking on him. And it got to the point where I said to him, well, Dad, why are all these teachers picking on you? Maybe it is you. But again, once his perspective changed, and he said, okay, what can I do differently? Guess what? His results and his outcome and his life started changing. 